Okay, uh, I'm Seb. Now, I have read all of your statements, and as expected, there is a little variation in experience in the group. Whatever level that you think you're at, it's totally fine. I know some of you were a little bit nervous about having zero experience. It's fine. This is a nine-week course, and during that time, we're going to cover loads of the skills and techniques that you're going to need to get yourselves up to a performance level, which is a good job because at the end of the nine weeks, I appear to have booked us to perform a half-hour slot at the Manchester International Festival. Yes, now I don't say that to make you nervous. Trust me, it might seem a little bit daunting now, but it gives us a target to aim for. And I've done it loads of times with groups before. You know, people who were total beginners bringing the house down in front of an audience. And anyway, you've all paid up, so what can you do? <laughs> all right. So what we're going to do is we're going to kick off with an ice breaker. I know that's a bit of a dreaded phrase, especially if you're somebody who's worked in quite a corporate job, but it's a really fun way for us to gel together really quickly as a group and also to warm up imaginations all right so has anybody heard of two truths and a lie a few of you good 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 right well two truths and a lie it's a game where you have to think about three things about yourself okay two of which are true and one of which is a lie exactly what it says on the tin now the trick of the game is to try and get people not to correctly guess the lie, okay? So try not to make it too obvious, all right? So for example, um, I like football, I like quiche, and I'm a ninja, okay? Because obviously, I hate quiche. <laughs> Come on guys, keep up, keep up. A good trick is to think of three things that are true about yourself, and then slightly change one of them, okay? So uh, for example, three facts about myself. In fact, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll do one for you now. Okay. Um, uh, I have never been to Africa. I can speak French. And I am allergic to bees. So which one do you think is the lie? Um, I have never been to Africa. Hands up. I can speak French. And I am allergic to bees. Okay, so the lie was that I can speak French. And what I did there was, I can speak Spanish, I just slightly changed it a little bit. You see? Allergic to bees? Yes, unfortunately so. Quite badly. I basically spent the whole of the summer shitting it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you get, the, you get the idea. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to count to ten, okay, and I want you to think about three things about yourselves, and then I'm going to choose somebody at random to share with the group. Okay? Go. Three, two, one. And the first person we shall have will be Sasha. <sighs> Knew it was going to be me. It's going to be fine. We're all going to have a go. So what have you got, Sasha? Okay. Um... I have three brothers. I was born in Denmark. And when I was six, I broke my arm when Brian Blessed tripped over me. Wow, tough choices. Well, I know which one I hope is true. OK, so who thinks that Sasha's lie is that she has three brothers? That she was born in Denmark? And when she was six, she broke her arm when Brian Blessed tripped over her. <laughs> yeah, I kind of think that one's a bit too strange not to be true. So which one's the lie, Sasha? When I was six, I broke my arm when Brian Blessed tripped over me. I was seven. <gasps> <gasps> Sasha, you dark horse. You're such a good liar. The student has become the master. What happened there, then? Uh, well, he was doing a panto in Southport. I was tying my shoelace outside the theatre and he barged out and, well, <laughs> fell on top of me, basically. <laughs> I was dead good about it. Oh, darling, I'm so sorry! 
<laughs> is, he, is he just like he appears on the telly? I can imagine he's just the same. He's exactly how you'd expect him to be. He was dead nice. Came to the hospital, gave us three tickets to the show. He even sends my mum a Christmas card every year. You get a Christmas card off Brian Blessed every year? Mm -hmm. Yep. <sighs> wow, my life seems so boring now. OK, good job, <laughs> Sasha. Really good, really good. That's uh, set the bar high. OK, so next we shall have um, pa Patrick. Patrick, two truths and a lie, though. Not necessarily in that order. OK, um... Um... My Uncle Terry wants auditioned for the Beatles. I don't know, he's not actually my uncle, he's my mum's uncle, but we all just call him Uncle Terry. Um, I only have nine toes. And I once pushed a woman in front of a bus. OK. Wow. Well, time's ticking on, so we'll, we'll work with it. Uh, who thinks Patrick's lie is that his Uncle Terry once auditioned for the Beatles. That he's only got nine toes. And that he once pushed a woman under a bus. And the lie is, Patrick? The lie is my Uncle Terry did not audition for the Beatles because he actually hates the Beatles. Like, he, he really hates them, so. OK. Right, cheers, Patrick. Um, next, we shall have Linda. Linda, two truths and a lie. When I was four, so the third one isn't a lie. What? Huh? You pushed a woman in front of a bus. Are you saying that's true? Yeah, but, you know, it was like ages ago. It was like ten years ago or something. So. When I was four... Did you really? Yeah. Why it was one of the two truths. You have to tell us more. I mean, you can't just tell us all you pushed a woman in front of a bus and then just leave it hanging there. OK. Uh, I was walking across a bridge and some woman was walking towards me and as we crossed, I don't know, I just kind of just... Pushed her into the road. And a bus was coming. Why? Have you ever, you know, you get that thing where you're, you're on a bridge or you're on a balcony and part of your brain is just like jump. Or, or, or you're in a shop and to just say something horrific into some nice old woman's face. That little, that little impulse to just do something bad. Yeah, well, it was like that, but I actually did it. And I, I know that kind of sounds bad, but to be fair to me, um, this is before I was diagnosed, and I'm fine now. You know, I, I'm, I'm on medication. I'm on four different medications. I'm completely fine. So. And what about the woman? Was she okay? No. No, unfortunately, she did die. Yeah, the bus just totally just... just went over her. But I was uh, sent to a psychiatric unit for a few years, which is incidentally where I lost my toe. <laughs> um, and yeah, they, they found out I had a lot of stuff going on, they treated me, I did my time, and then here we are. Like, I, I feel bad about it, you know. But um, it's almost like it wasn't me. Yeah, that's how I feel about it anyway. That is fucked up. When I was... I think you should leave. I'm serious. I think you should leave. Why? You fucking killed a woman, that's why. You fucking pushed her under a bus. Yeah, and I did seven years in a psych ward for it. I'm fine, okay? They let me go. I don't care. Right, yeah, okay, yeah. It, it, it's bad, okay? It's bad. But <laughs> it is easily the worst thing I've ever done. Okay, if you take my whole life, then it's a blip. 
it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a stain on a white sheet. You can't call killing a random woman a blip. <sighs> OK, look, you, you look at the donut, right? Not whole. You need to go. You need to fuck off. Look, let's just forget about this and move on, OK? I think, I think Sasha's right. I, th I think you should leave. Well, that's bullshit. Well, you're clearly making the group feel uncomfortable and it's not going to work with this vibe. But I've, I've paid up. I will give you a refund. That, that was a joke. Can you fuckers not take a fucking joke? Yeah, I think you should leave. <laughs> that is bullshit. Bullshit! Sorry about that, everybody. Right, where were we? Uh, Linda, two and, and a... When I was four, my father came into my room and... Yeah, it was rubbish. Did something happen? <laughs> no, it was just... I thought it was going to be more comedy, but it was just... musicals and singing and stuff. Oh, well, that's a shame. And you're looking forward to it, too. How about we get a takeaway for tea? Oh, never mind. All these things happen. Let's get you a kebab. Oh, put your seatbelt on. We don't want a nasty accident. <laughs> 